Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days, and today we're going to do a low-carb hamburger, broccoli, Alfredo. It's going to be so good. Um, so you need a few things for this. Uh, this one is very simple, actually, and very inexpensive, for the most part, and uh, super easy, super quick, and low-carb. That's the best part about this, it's low-carb. Um, I figure now I'm making this for two and I'm going a little heavy on the meat. So you can do your meat to broccoli ratio, um, however it best suits you and your finances and your family. I'm going to do about two pounds of ground beef and <clears throat> about four, no, three cups of broccoli florets. And that's going, to, I, not a huge fan of broccoli here, but, um, I'm trying to like it. And I figure if it's drowned in Alfredo sauce, bonus let me show you what alfredo sauce so ragu uh we discovered at the grocery store has these different cheesy like cheesy creations cheese creations add an extra syllable in there um and they are one pound 16 ounces one 16 ounce jars okay um this one is the classic alfredo and then for once once I read what the carbs were, we decided to try a few different ones at different times. So there's also a roasted garlic parmesan, and then there is a four cheese. Now, it is my belief that these are fully intended to go over noodles. We're not doing noodles. Um, but we are going to do hamburger and broccoli florets and Alfredo sauce that's already made. Eventually, I'll get around to making my own Alfredo sauce. It's not going to be this week. Mm-mm. But the really great part about this, I'll show this to you. Um, a serving size is a quarter cup, and there are about seven servings per container. There are two grams of carbs per serving, per quarter cup of the sauce. Two grams of carbs. Um, so that's a total of 14 carbs for the entire jar, okay? So you do an entire jar of this on top of two pounds of burger, on top of a cup and a half of broccoli florets, and you have 16 carbs total. Um, that's eight carbs a piece. If Phil and I both devour half of this entire thing, which I don't know that we will. So that is what it, that's what it looks like there. I hope you can read that. And that's the jar. Now this jar costs, I don't know, two, three dollars, somewhere in between. There's no, you don't price tag anything in Michigan anymore. Um, and it just looked like an easy way to do it. I saw a recipe for hamburger, broccoli, Alfredo, where you make the Alfredo sauce on your own, you know, from scratch. And it doesn't look difficult to do. And the carbs are just as low. And I'm not a big fan of processed foods. Really don't like them. But for a couple of bucks, I'm going to save a little bit of time, which I seem to be very short on lately. Um, we're going to give it a try and we're going to let you know how it turns out. So right now... I don't know if you can see, I'm browning the ground beef. I'm actually grounding five pounds, grounding? I'm actually browning five pounds. Um, three of it is going to go to the side to make taco meat um, because we have discovered that we enjoy having pre-made taco meat in the fridge to throw on salads or whatever. And the other two pounds is going into the casserole dish. So we'll be right back once that gets browned up. Okay, so I'm going to guesstimate on the broccoli here. That looks like about a cup and a half, doesn't it? I thought so too. And then we're going to do the sauce. Easy open, easy dump. Oop, where's my spatula? Un momento. We want to get all 14 of those carbs. No, Una, stay down. All 14 of those carbs out of the jar. We want them. Okay. I'm going to mix that up. And next, we're going to mix in the ground beef. Okay, so next we're going to mix in 
about two pounds of ground beef. You can add more seasoning if you want. Um, that's totally up to you. We're just going to try it like this. Now I'm going to take this and put it in the oven for about maybe 20 minutes. I want to get that broccoli cooked at um, 375 degrees. And I'll show you what it looks like coming out of the oven. I don't know. It looks kind of good right now. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay. Ooh, sizzling hot. Okay, so I'm going to serve up the dishes and we'll go see what Phil thinks. <laughs> real good. Is it real good? Yeah. Is it a do again? Yeah. Okay. So it was a really good dinner. Um, we finished it. It's good. We're full. Um, and it was only eight carbs for each of us. So 16 carbs total for everything that I made there. <clears throat> you could make it with more broccoli. Um, and less meat if, if the budget fits that way, because obviously the broccoli is much cheaper. That was like a dollar 60 for a big bag of the frozen broccoli. And we only used half of it. Um, I did use more meat because we really do like meat here. Um, and then the whole jar of Alfredo sauce, you could stretch this out and make this great for a family of four or five, uh, with just adding more vegetables that would definitely stretch it out into salad. We didn't even do a salad tonight. Um, the whole thing, let's see, we got the ground beef on sale. So I figured that cost us about five bucks. The Alfredo sauce was about three and the broccoli was about dollar sixty, dollar seventy. So eight, nine, under ten dollars, uh, for a dinner for two. It's not hugely frugal. Um, but you know, it works for us. Ten dollars for dinner for two works. And I didn't have to get dressed up and be nice to anybody. Um, the carbs, like I said, were 16 grams, 16 grams total, so 8 grams each. And that keeps us, uh, for what we've both eaten today, well under uh, our allowed carbs for the day. We're doing good on this way of eating. And um, a lot of this is just proving to ourselves that we can still eat good food um, that tastes good, that's comforting, and uh, stay where we need to be. It doesn't have to be all pastas and bread and all that carby stuff. Don't even miss it too terribly, truth be told. Um, so... We will see you next time, and uh, we're going to be really busy this weekend, so you're going to get a couple videos from us, and then I can't wait to see you next week for the low-carb menu next week. So I hope everyone has a really great night, and if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and uh, share it with some friends that you think might like it too.